Hi, I've got some exercises for exploring the 11th harmonic. So let's start on the F horn and just start from harmonic 4 to uh, get uh, everything oriented. <laughs> Tricky that one. And sixteen eleven. We check that one. Yes, eight and sixteen still an octave. So what uh, obviously well not obviously, but I would play uh, these exercises on each tube length. But what I've done today is I've adjusted the second slide of the F horn. Uh, way out as far as I can possibly go without falling over. Now, have to make a little bit of lip adjustment, a little bit of hand adjustment so the tone colour is not quite the same, but we can now match the 11th harmonic of the F horn to the 12th harmonic of the E horn. Now we can have this interval. down from the 8th harmonic of the F horn down what's the interval is actually a 12-11 here as well. we can still get that interval 12-11. So just the, like we can do that, the second valve of the B flat horn, it's hidden underneath there. I've also adjusted that out. So that match the same pitch. So now this is the ninth harmonic of what was an A horn is now an A half flat. And now we get the interval there of 11-9. You can also get it on the 11th harmonic of a, an E flat horn. So we can find nice ways to match the 11th harmonic with other lengths of tube on the horn uh, to get some really nice intervals, uh, that sort of thing. So here's some of the uh, slurring exercises I've done in the past, um, which assist um, me as a horn player to navigate and learn how to play these intervals. So harmonics 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 11. So skipping some harmonics. short lengths of tube like that A half flat horn I just played. The 11th harmonic is still quite approachable. We use it cautiously as it gets tiring up there but it's still quite available and just to um, complete this uh, I just want to play one of the other exercises I've devised. Uh, it's on page 109 I think. Here we go. So just starting this time on the 11th harmonic. 
So 11, 10, 11. 11, 9, 11. 12 and so on I explored them earlier but <clears throat> starting to add in a few more intervals in, in a row a good exercise to do and once you've done 11 9, 11 10 9 you can then do 11 10 8 or and 11 10 and 7 And having done all of those, we can now start go 11 to 9 to 8. And 11 to 9 to 7. And 11 to 8 to 7. And so on, just exploring the different possibilities. Of course, um, one can get super excited and play lots more in a row and so on well but all these exercises help as a player to really um find the um the odd harmonics 9 11 7 especially and um, get used to playing them without adjustment, just exactly as they sit. And um, otherwise, we tend to overwork the muscles if we're not used to playing these notes. So that's some, one of the reasons why I devise lots of exercises.